Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today we will build a guard tour patrolling system. Same as our last workshop, I will split this topic into several videos. Today, let's check out the function that we built for the system. First, the dashboard, which will be listing the current on-duty guard, and the patrolling and incident map. Second, on-duty security guard clock in or out. Third, the patrolling log and incident log. And lastly, an emergency alarm which alerts all members. Alright, let's see how the system work. This is the dashboard. In the dashboard, we got the on-duty member list. Which listing the currently on-duty guard. Next, this is the incident log. Which lists all reported incidents with new or checking status. Lastly, we have a map view here. Patrolling record of the last 6 hours will be pointed on the map. And also, the reported incident. There are few colors pointer for incident. Each color represent different status. Red color is the newly reported incident. Yellow color is the checking in progress incident. While the green color is the closed case incident. Next to the dashboard is the function for recording patrol. Let's create a new patrolling record. There are three inputs, checkpoint ID, image and remark. Checkpoint ID is a list of preset patrolling checkpoint, with barcode scanner enabled. The image is for us to take a photo of the surrounding at the checkpoint. Remark is a note for the patrolling record. Let's proceed to create a new patrolling record. Save it and then check in the map. This is our newly created patrolling record. In the inline view, shows the image that has been taken just now. With the checkpoint location and the check location. The checkpoint location, is the location that we have preset in the checkpoint master. While the check location is the exact location that we recording this record. You may ask, why not we just use the check location? Well, the accuracy of results that capture by of sheet are device dependent and may vary depending on location conditions. That's why we need to set the checkpoint location to avoid this issue. And at the same time, to have this check location to audit the actual location of the guard recording. Lastly, we have the remark checked by and date time. So this is our patrolling record, let's proceed to the next. Creating an incident report. This function is for guard to report if any incident happened. Similar to patrolling, we minimize the input with auto incident ID. Then capturing the image. And lastly, enter some notes. Then save it. Let's check out the newly created incident on the map. The red color pointer is the newly added incident. Click on it to further check the incident information. We got the image, ID, status, location, notes, and created by and date. The yellow pointer is the incident with checking in progress status. The green pointer is the incident with closed status. Alright, this is our incident module. Next, let's check out the emergency alert function. This emergency button is implemented in the on-duty view and incident log view. Let's create an emergency alert. Actually, we are using the form of incident, with filled in notes. And once we save the emergency, it will auto notifying every member.
both created incident and the emergency alerts will be listed on the map and in the incident log view. Let's enlarge the incident log view. The incident log is a table view, grouping by status. New is always sorting at the top, followed by checking. Let's check out the newly created incident. This is the newly created incident. As you see, the selected incident is changed from new to checking. It is because it will trigger an action when the row is selected. Let's try another record. Same as previously, this record also auto changed from new to checking. Let's check out the other function in the incident detail view. There are an alert button here. Unlike emergency alert, a normal incident won't auto alert other members. But we can manually clicking this button to alert other member. Like this. By clicking this alert button to notify every member regarding this incident. The button that next to the alert, it is a closed button. We may close the completed incident by clicking this button. Now, the incident is closed, and the alert function will be auto disabled. To minimize the list of the incident's logs on the dashboard. The incident log on the dashboard is only listing those new or checking incidents. We may check all incidents in the incident log menu. All the incidents is listed here, grouped by status, and latest always on top. Let's proceed to the patrolling log menu. Unlike the patrol record on the map, which only shows the latest 6 hours records. In the patrolling log menu, it listing all, and the latest is always on top. This is the patrol record detail view. Let's proceed to the checkpoint master. Check out the checkpoint detail first. In the detail, we got the checkpoint image and QR code. We may print out this QR code and then stick at the preset checkpoint. So when the guard is patrolling, he or she may scan the QR code at the checkpoint. Take note, the scanner is only available for mobile version. So this is the usage of the QR code. Next, we got the checkpoint ID, description and location. Lastly, the patrolling log for the checkpoint. Let's create a new checkpoint. ID is auto-generated starting with CP and a running number. Then set the checkpoint image. Enter the description. Set the location for the checkpoint. Then enter some notes. Then save it. QR code will be auto-generated after saving. And immediately, the newly created checkpoint will be listed. Alright, let's proceed to the member master. Let's check out the detail. Firstly, we got the guard photo, followed by ID, name, email and address. 
There are two special data here, the last seen location and the last seen date time. This two columns is auto updated every time the guard on duty or patrolling or reporting a new incident. Lastly, the on-duty log for the guard. Let's create a new member. Set the picture, then the name, email and address. Then save. Let's clock in for the newly added member. Alright, this is all the function that we built, for the guard tour patrolling system. I will share the step-by-step -step workshop in the next videos. We end here today. See you guys in the next video. Bye.